So here's another shot of the setup of popping a couple of Hobies on, on the top of my Liberty. Um, pretty much standard rack from Thule and I got the Hullivator. I was able to pick up a set of this stuff on Craigslist and uh, save some money that way. Everything's in good shape, pretty well under you, underused and uh, got everything hooked up. Those Thule simple speed straps work great. I just did a couple hour round trip and uh, you know made sure I had a little little extra with the center strap just to help us you know, keep them a little more stable and then I just I did do uh, you know the bow rope for uh, the 13 um, when you look at the pro angler it's it's short enough in the cradles that um, I don't think there was any there's really no advantage of going going with a bow uh, tie on but the whole thing was super stable and uh, seemed to work out great. You can see the rhino rack kickstand, I, you know, you snap on and off to be able to uh, get a heavier boat or basically get, get any kind of boat, like in a J bar or something on and off more easily. And it worked out pretty, pretty amazingly well with the, uh, you know, even with the weight of the pro angler. So there's a shot. I'll do another, uh, I'll do another couple of little snippets so you can get a, get a feel for what I, uh, got going here and especially on the kind of this home built rack set up with the pro angler cradle and uh, these channels I picked up over at Home Depot with a, the basically these spring nuts that go up on the inside and it's a 3816 I just use a fender washer and a split in both in both places um, here's here's what that channel looks like Manufacturer is well, it's a Super Strut B 1400 HS, and uh, you can see how these self wedging, self locking, uh, retaining nuts as you tighten the bolts, uh, they pull right in. I did some this way, and then I did a few of them uh, the other uh, on the other side. I put the flat side down up to this little rack so you can kind of see how I did that and it works out pretty slick um, yeah hope it helps you I was trying to figure you know a few different ways to be able to carry these bolts around while I was you know pulling a camper and uh, this worked out pretty slick I have to push the 13 footer pretty far forward but uh, that elevator really holds it nice and it's working out good so a couple more shots I'll do a I'll do a uh, lift down so you can see how all that works and, and I hope it helps you out.